Well, we're back at you one more again. I hope everybody is so blessed. I'm going blessed and have a favorite and definitely hope the same for you. If this is your first time talking about my channel, much love to you. My returning subs, my born extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much. Um, just being you, being able to know that, you know, uh, you're not alone. We all go through these crazy situations and just basically being able to support each other so much and being able to send each other blessings and vibes is truly I mean it's truly God sent to me and I really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell you know when I'm about to upload my next video also um if you uh, are comfortable enough, I would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback on my video, or you're just about to tell me about your impact, you can my impact in my head, you can go in the direction. Also, if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes and information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a, a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times right now, and need confirmation or validation towards their life path, or even solve a purpose. Uh, please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and I hope you're able to incorporate it with the content of my video and this music y'all is so enchanting it's like you see God coming from outside the sky you see him shed his beautiful light on this person y'all is so beautiful Oh, so it's like, oh my gosh, I'm looking at it. I almost started crying because it was like very beautiful for me to see. I told y'all I'm so sensitive lately. Um, but yeah, this music, the meditation music I'm using for today is called uh, Prayer Music for Miracles Connect to the Holy Spirit. Talk to God. 639 hertz growing love. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about twin flame. One. Hey, Okas, we are not in Kansas anymore. I seen this thumbnail and I thought about that. I was like, we're not in Kansas anymore. You know, I feel like Kansas is like, I mean, Clint, I've seen it's pretty like all plain, you know, like I, Idaho or Iowa, wherever that is. I ain't trying to sit up here and clown nobody, but it's like a whole bunch of, you know, great plains and stuff. It's very beautiful, but it does, you know, there's people I knew in Kansas, but it wasn't like a city like I live in. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, where is everything? She's like, this is everything. And I'm like, you know. But uh, I was seeing this thumbnail and I saw Dorothy's shoes. And I said, you know what? We're not in Kansas anymore. That's just like you're having a full awakening. You're seeing everything from fresh eyes. You know, it's like a lot of us have been going through these cosmic shifts. I was going to uh, put a video up about that yesterday. And I'm just going to use that as the same thing because it's like, Going through a cosmic shift, you're, you, it's like it's crazy how, you know, when everything first started for me, I was able to pick up on everybody's energy, everybody's thoughts around me. I hear your thoughts and people's head. I forgot what that meant. Um, I forgot what that is, like telekinesis or something like that, all that weird, crazy stuff. I'm just like, I'll be saying something. They're like, you don't get out of my head. Stop doing that. That's so weird. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, but you know what? You need to clean up your memory because that's not good how you're thinking. You know, and they were like, I, that's just weird. You're able to do stuff like that. I didn't even know I was able to do it. You know, my dad told me I was special. I thought it was brr, duh, special. I didn't know it was like special, special like that, like enchanting special, like all these things combined to be able to do it. But when I can really see things for what they are, really seeing how things connect in the world, how, I mean, it's just like sometimes it's still sitting with me about us with this energy that we have. It's just like God and universe is just like sucking energy from us. And it's just like, it's like rotating and you're shifting this way. You're shifting that way. You're uploading, you're downgrading, all this daggone stuff. And it's just like right now, my, you know, my, all right here is like been vibrating all day. And it's just like there's chills that's been going up and down the back of my head, going down to my back and, you know, down my hands and stuff like that. Y'all seen me the other day, I was sitting up here having flash and like going through the daggone screen and everything. That's been happening for me for a while. And it's just like 
a little bit of it is it's just like when I sit up here and I meditate before I say a prayer before I start doing my videos and allow them to use me as that beacon or a conduit, whatever you want to say, what have you, you know, to send the messages, what they want, whatever they want to talk about, you know, what do I need to be able to say, what do people truly need to hear right now, and it's just like, for real, we are not in no damn Kansas anymore, you know, it's just like you're seeing things for what they truly are, you're really trying to be able to heal, seeing what your situation is teaching you as you're helping others as well you know so many of us are awakening left and right and it can really be a scary situation especially if you don't know what your situation is you know i feel i feel bad for people that can contact me they're like i'm about to lose my mind it, 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 it will have you feel like you're about to lose your mind <laughs> you know, it will it's just like things start falling apart in front of you you won't be able to see things the way you truly are i've uh, been seeing them before and it's just like you get that uplift. And it's just like now I really don't see like if it's a curse anymore. The only time I feel like it's a curse when I'm feeling everything. And I have to really protect myself with that. Because it's just like lately, I don't know why, but I love watching crime shows like Crime Daily. Because I'm like that type of person. I just watch CSI, NCIS. What was the other one? 48 hours. There's a lot of things that you know what must be an empath. We pay attention to a lot of things that other people don't catch on to. I'm like, hey, you remember that? Like, oh, dad, we didn't even notice that. You know, and all these weird things. I wish I could do that stuff like some of them psychics do and, you know, helping, you know, the medical folks try to find like the missing persons or, you know, who who did what. I really wish I could do stuff like that because I promise you, it's, it breaks my heart when I see these these new shows where there's people missing or people taking people's children and other you know, all these crazy sex trafficking things. I wish I could help do all those things because, I mean, I promise you I'll use my gift beyond measures to help people do that, even though it's not very pleasant because it's like, you know, through certain situations, I've seen things that I really truly didn't want to see, you know, throughout, throughout this situation I've had, especially I only had it happen once since I've had my spiritual awakening. All the rest of it is like when people's loved ones come to me and they're, you know, they show me like their little connection with that per that certain person and what they wanted me to know that knowing no I there will be no way of me knowing, but just to know that was something they they had talked about, which I really feel is sweet. But it's just like it gets me really emotional. But the only time that really happened to me and I really like I had nightmares about it was uh what's her name? Debbie Constantino. She played on um Ghost Adventures and I was able to see like the five last five minutes of her life. Oh, and uh, Triple X Extension, that, that rapper is like, it's been a year. I've had a couple of talks with him and I was telling my daughter what was going on. And she knew there was no way of me knowing that the certain th situations because she was like a diehard person for him, no pun intended. But uh, she, there was things that I would discuss with her that she knew I would, I mean, that's not even my era. I don't even listen to stuff like that. But yet, I would know that. She's like, Mom, how come you didn't talk to me? You're not open with your gift like that. I am. And I don't know why he came up to me. But it was so crazy. One time, you know, um, my granddaughter, she was we were just she was just learning how to cuckoo or whatever you want to call it. And I was like, I love you, Mari. And then I was like, say I love you. And then, um, next, you know, because any time I talked to him, he always called me Mom. And then it was like, she had him on TV, and he's like, hey, I love you, Mom, right after I said that, we both looked, and I was like, that was so weird, <laughs> and she looked at me, she's like, Mom, okay, it's time for me to go, I'm like, yeah, I want to turn this off, because that is just really weird, because it was just so happening the time when I had talked to her about certain things, you know, because it's like, with the 1044 waking up, a lot of these people, especially your celebrity types, they're being used as that example, and it's really crazy about how you know, we tend to look at things, you know, being able to know things go further than just human, you know, um, being able to remember, you know, if you're an earth angel, you know, I, I tell people, you know, sometimes I miss my wings, I always have these, like, you know, either itch on my shoulders, I even have, like, dimples and stuff where, you know, they just be, it's really weird. So, it, it's just, like, all the things that we tend to go through, know that you're going through them for a reason. And a lot of times it might make you feel like you're going through a mental breakdown. You know, you're not able to hold down a regular nine to five anymore, which, you know, it's just, I, I think that's really, you know, hard. <laughs> you know, it's just like you try to see in everything and the three 
world, but you you done dumped the five, uh, four and five D, maybe even six D. You know, so many times you looking at this stuff like this, this this is not how it truly goes. But I'm allowing you to think it goes that way. You know, us looking at folks. You know, I remember I used to hear people talking about that on aliens and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, you know, they're like, you don't believe? It. I think anything's possible. You know, all the crazy stuff that's been on when I went through. You know. You know, as a child, I know things are possible. So it's just like allow yourself to see the things that's being taught to you, especially when it comes about your gift. Embrace your gift because you're not in Kansas anymore. You got to be able to know because, I mean, we're all going through this cosmic shift. And I really feel like a lot of people are. You're becoming conscious of the things that are coming towards your way. and You, you can be able to identify what is not your feeling what is not your thought you know that's a beautiful feeling and it's just like if you're not you're currently going through things where you cannot distinguish you know your feelings you need to be able to do a prayer or a meditation you know look and learn on the things it's just like with me you know is it's like my gift is starting to enhance a lot lately it's like especially if i because i've been closing myself off from a lot of people which the universe told me i need to stop doing but it's just a lot of times what everybody's going through an integration or a retrograde or whatever is like y'all's energy gets so powerful. Sometimes I can even feel y'all before you get here. <laughs> Your energy is that, that, that strong. It's like I know there's somebody who's very strong about to step up to me pretty soon coming through the channel. And I mean, their energy is very powerful because I feel like antennas is like going like this. And I'm really feeling it where it's got my eyes laid. And I'm not, I don't smoke anymore. So it's just like I'm feeling this and it's just like. It's a beautiful feeling, but it's crazy feeling as well, you know, but it's a beautiful feeling to be able to interact with people that know about their gifts, embrace that, you know, try to, you know, pass on the knowledge towards other people, you know, because like I said before, you know, I'm blessed to be able to do these things because it's like a lot of people like Rosalind, you know, you're the only channel that's probably doing a lot of Hayoka videos the way you are. And I said, well, this is what the universe wants me to stay on because there's so many of us. And it's just the fact is how we go about our ways of doing things anyway is just crazy. So they need somebody to be able to talk about the daily issues, the things that we struggle through, you know, the things that we see, the way we interpret things, how we you know respond to them you know how we help others you know we're tricksters we, we we don't we don't take life as seriously as we supposed to even though we know things are serious it's like we try not to be so serious about things if you know you've been with me for a while you know seeing me on my kooky moments because i i get that way but you know i say i try not to be all positive and just be straightforward like a textbook you know i want you to be able to enjoy yourself you want to be able to know that there's people here that you can count on to be able to tell your situation and know you know i tell people there's no judgment here you know if you feel like you want to be able to talk to me on the side and you don't feel comfortable with explaining the things that are going on in your life i always tell people hit me up on facebook messenger you know i'm glad to be able to talk to you there you know i used to be able to tell people hey contact me this time at this time but i'm just like now i'll just turn my my ringer off because i know a lot of people are in different states and different parts of the country they got different work hours and stuff like that so i try to respect that but also respect the fact you know if you send it like two three o'clock in the morning you know if i'm up you know i'll go ahead and respond if not, you know, I'll just go ahead and respond, you know, whenever I can get, as soon as I can get to it. But I usually do a same day response. But, you know, a lot of us go through a lot of things. And I love when I'm being able to help people, being able to allow them to know that they can be their self in front of me. I don't cast judgment on anybody. I said, as long as you're not molesting little kids, you ain't looking at little kids like that. And you don't beat down senior citizens. We don't have a problem, you know, but no, nobody's perfect. You know, we're all learning and growing and trying to be able to do our part for the universe. So it, it's just like when we w realize we woke up and we're no longer in Kansas anymore. It's just like now it's time for us to get our, you know, get the elbow grease ready and ready to pull up your sleeves because it's about to get dirty. This is like they keep warning us like these things are coming. We got to keep preparing ourselves. I've been saying that for the last few months, but it's like we're in that that empathic boot camp while we're going through all this crazy stuff. You, you know, you have to learn so much. And it, I mean, it can make you nervous at times and make you feel like you're going to lose your mind. Because it's just like, they were like, Rosalind, damn, we going through another dark night of the soul. I'm like, baby, is you know, if you keep, if you haven't learned the things you need to learn from in your situation, you're going to keep going through ascensions. You're going to keep going through kundalinis. And you're going to keep dealing with dark night of the souls. You know, it's all about the things that you are learning to grow and let 
go of and move on. And it's just like I said, I felt so blessed to be able to open up and tell, you know, people because they're like, be vulnerable. You're going to be glad you did. And I'm just like, I'm very glad I did because it took a weight off my chest. I was wondering why sometimes I'd be talking about certain things and I felt like there was a brick on my chest. And I'm like, why am I feeling like I got heart palpitations? You know, I know when my dad's here because he'll start laughing or doing something goofy or something like that to get my attention, you know, so anything like that. But it wasn't that. It would just be certain situations that weigh heavy on me, and I didn't realize I was still holding on to these things. I'm like, shoot, I'm ready to let this mess go. You know, I got bigger and better things to do. It's like this is something I cannot change, but I know it can change me in a positive perspective, and that's how I'm going to look at it. Don't allow situations that people try to place you in. Don't allow nobody to place you in a box. Don't allow somebody to sit up here and say, okay, well, they're being too happy today, so well, let me allow, let me throw a bone at them and make them miserable. You know, I've, I've attracted so many people like that. And now it's like I get prone to it, to where I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna keep doing me. Because <laughs> this is like what I said, I said I'm sore today. I had to take me a couple of pain relievers, my legs sore, but I know that's why I'm building up muscle. And I said, relax for a little bit, do my videos, watch me some more YouTube, you know, go ahead and answer some comments. And then, you know, chill out and then later on I'm be doing some exercises because, I mean, I was just now, I had to change my shirt and stuff like that because I went outside and all of a sudden I came back in here, I was freezing because I was sweating a lot. So I had to wash off and stuff like that. But allow yourself to know you're not in Kansas anymore. You know, you're going through these 3D, 4D upgrades, downloads, retrogrades, integrates, all these different things. Allow your body to be able to explore all these different things that they're trying to implicate on you, whatever. But, you know, drop me a line and let me know if you feel that way. You know, on any things that, you know, you might be concerned about that, you know, we might you feel like others might be uh, going through or, you know, you have questions or concerns about things that you're going through that you're really trying to put a finger on. You know, I'm glad I'm able to be able to cover so many different content, you know, for Hey Opus to know that, you know, I'm trying to do my best on, you know, putting so many things out there because I know there's so many people who are going through so many different things. So I try to cover a lot. You know, when they ask me to do a Wiccan video, I do a Wiccan video. They ask me to do a Twin Flame video, I also do that. But it's like mainly they want me stuck on this hay open situation. So I hope you're able to resonate with content. Like and subscribe. Place, you know, give me a thumb, thumbs up, share. Hit that bell. Drop me a line so I can be able to give you a post notification shout out. Um, much love to you. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Princess Laura convey the truth and buddy pre and pre tree much love to you as well and i will see you on my next video know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days and send out as much love and light and positivity as you can you never know when your words can really take somebody a long way much love peace